plan is to go up to Thornton Lakes, continue on. Uh, there's triumph and despair, and I'm uh, attempting to cruise into cruise around triumph and get to despair. Uh, it'll be a push. Much nicer than average. Uh, not a lot of rocks. The water's diverted correctly in a lot of places. And uh, a little over 4,000 feet. So I'm climbing above the lake. There was a faint trail around the lake, and then I found a couple guys that said I was the first person they've seen in six days. And I just got through a bunch of trees, and it's just kind of opening up right now. And I'm basically, you can see a little snow there. I'm heading that way. Okay, it's El Dorado and Dorado Needle. And uh, it looks like Primus Austeria area. And then uh, that's the uh, horseman or the horse on the side of snow, uh, snowfield. And it looks like Plumber and Pinnacle over there. So anyhow, uh, came up. I realized I didn't have my tracks going, but no big deal. I know how to get home. My track's starting here somewhere, and the lake up and over, and my car is uh, down that way somewhere. So I'm just about 5,000 feet, and I feel like I'm making some good progress. Well, I got to wash up. Okay, that's Mount Despair, and that one's Triumph. Triumph and Despair. And then uh, Thornton Lakes, there's three of them. You can see that uh, the upper lake's still frozen over. This is the middle of August. Okay, I'm heading over to there, Triumph Pass, and I'm gonna drop down to that snow and then climb up the pass. And then you can see, you can see Mount Shuxon, and that's in the center. That's Mount Blum, and that's Hagen. And, that's Mount Bacon. I've done, uh, I've climbed all those peaks. Bacon was amazing. This 
so I'm making my traverse now and I'm pretty good on this on this terrain in general it's mountain bacon Hagen and plum uh, so the crux you know the trouble I see is the vegetation there uh, it can uh, be you know a little bit cliffy perhaps uh, it could be wet so we'll see how that goes but, uh, going for the pass and that's Triumph Pass right there and I'll just follow that line up the center okay I'm making my traverse the rocks are fairly stable there's some benches or grassy benches that are not too unreasonable and I'm just under Triumph Triumph's right there and uh, I've got to continue to drop. I'm going to drop a total of about 1,500 feet to get to where that snow is in the middle. And then I'll go for the pass. Okay, got a nice big washout here. This gully's going to give me a little trouble. Okay, I got out of this gully. It had a uh, high angle slippery slabs. And so I'm basically gonna go down on the north side. It's a lot better, a lot safer. Okay, that's Southern Picket, so you get uh, McMillan on the right, and then uh, Inspiration, uh, I forget, that's a barrier, I crossed it once, right where that's, I was pointing, and in the center that's Terror, the Rake, and Immelhorn. And uh, get a view here of my peak, that's Mount Despair. And I'm about two miles away. That's Mount Triumph. And basically I've just come up from that lake and then traverse over. So I'm getting there. It's basically been about 12 miles and about 12 hours. Okay. So it's uh, about 12 and a half hours and 12.8 miles to this point. So that's my view. That's Mount Triumph, Triumph Pass. And I stayed at that lake below. I just came up a gully and it opened up. This is my view. That's 
mount to spare. It's Mount Bacon. Mount Triumph. Okay. So I'm nearing the cliffy area. This is a high, a high chunk of snow that just continues on down here. And the plan is to just make my way up and then towards that snow patch. Then the summit. If we look this way. So I just made a key ledge, traversed left, and uh, I'm on a little grassy slope. Uh, from Triumph Pass, I, I, I came down the snow, and then uh, at the lake, went up that, that uh, rock rib, and then stayed a little bit high, following the snow around, and then uh, down to the lake. Uh, very welcome little pool of water. That's the top. That's the summit, goodbye. I'm leaving Mount Despair. And that is the northern peak of Despair. And a fantastic glacier. And then the pickets. Southern pickets, northern pickets. Back to the lake. So that's despair. That's the way out. Southern Pickets, Terrors in the middle. I've done that one and I've done the one on the right. Um, then uh, this beautiful lake and that is Despair. We just came from there. That's uh, up Despair. And then uh, basically Thornton Pass is that one. So, crossing Thorpe next. Okay, I'm heading toward that snow patch. Uh, turns out that there's a gully there that you go up and uh, 
it's it's pretty sketchy in places so it's better to just climb the cliff with trees and uh, to be in the gully Let's see how it goes I'm climbing a cliffy section that has a bunch of trees and I'm basically 300 feet off or so from my previous position but any way on is pretty steep Okay, this creek gets pretty cliffy right about there. So the way I went, the way around it was to go into the trees and that's what I did on my return trip. I came, just came out of the trees a bit ago. Okay, I'm almost to the pass. That's it, right there. late in the day so in and out one day one night two days one night that'll be a definite push looks like it's about 25 to 30 closer to 30 miles once I get to the lake I'll have to climb up about 500 feet but hey I get a trail <laughs> 